Okay, what up ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here. Hopefully, your favorite official content creator for the first Ascendant. And today, I'm here to bring you all the information about Hotfix 1.1.1, which just dropped maintenance free. So, if you guys have not yet uh, exited the game and installed the update, you probably want to do that. Now, this is going to be a longer video, not just because the patch notes are fairly long, but also because we are going to uh, test out the invasion dungeons right after this. All right, it's going to be in the same video. Everything is timestamped, so you can reference it accordingly. All right, we'll go through everything stage by stage. So let's do it right now, okay? All right, let's get this started. First of all, let's talk about what's in hot in this hotfix. Um, in terms of the content improvements, as promised, they have basically reduced the difficulty of the invasion puzzles. I'm going to try and go slow here, but... Basically, all the puzzles have been made much more simple than before. Okay. From now on, in the Order of Truth dungeon, the pillars that previously did not have symbols will no longer be displayed. Okay? Um, the design of the symbols, there's only four. Previously, there were six possible uh, symbols. Now there's only four. The symbols are X, Triangle, O, and Square. Okay, remember, it goes into the square hole. Now, <laughs> there will, now, now every pillar that you uh, open up will have a symbol. Okay, hopefully it's an Order of Truth dungeon. I can, des I can uh, display this. Anyway, um, the, your skills, if you're using Bunny, will no longer target RK pillars after the tumors are destroyed. The pillars have been improved, so the tumors on them do not regenerate after they are destroyed. Okay, so you just have to destroy them once. Um, whether you memorize a symbol or not doesn't really matter. If you memorize it, you can probably go faster. Instead of requiring five hits, you now require only three hits to destroy the pillars. Okay. They've adjusted the movement paths of the Ancestor Drones and reduced the movement speed of the Ancestor Drones. So the drones are going to move a lot slower. All right. And the symbols are now displayed above the drone vertically. All right. So do be aware of that. They have reduced the number of hits needed to destroy the malignant tumor blocking the door from 3 to 2, allowing the door to be cleared in one attempt. So you only have to do the puzzle once for Order of Truth, alright? No more having to do the drones twice. Um, they've increased the range and the firing rate of the inversion energy emitter. And they fixed an issue where gates would receive damage if the descendant would hit a gate with a skill while having a module equipped that lowered the skill power modifier and also had the inversion energy emitter. Okay, so that bug's, uh, that bug's been dealt with. They have increased the melee monster spawn rate. <laughs> Excuse the coughing, but increased? I thought they were supposed to decrease the monster spawn rate. I mean, either way, it doesn't realistically matter because, quite frankly, this, this puzzle is going to be a lot easier. And of course, um... We will happily do the guidance and all that kind of stuff. All right. For the Legion of Immortality, this is the one where you have to put the brains in the machine. Previously, it required 30 brains. Now you only have to put in 20. Okay. The amount of brains that the players can hold has been decreased from 15 to 10. So you collect 10, shove them in. Collect 10, shove them in. All right. Um, That's pretty much it. They have moved the location of the phase separation veil generator near the computing unit in battles with the named monsters so i think they'll just make this easier to target after you have put your brains in okay um for the legion of darkness they have adjusted the arcade tile positions to make it easier to identify them they have reduced the arcade tile occupation time to three seconds and they've simplified the color and symbols displayed on the arcade tiles so there's only four symbols x triangle circle and square all right, so these are the these are the standardized colors. These are the standardized symbols. All you have to do is follow the symbols. If the symbol on the door says X O triangle, then you got to do X O triangle. That's it. All right. There is no more suicide bomber that'll destroy the tiles. The spawn rate of raiders um, that reduce tile occupancy has been reduced. Okay, so these are not gone. They're just reduced. They have changed the symbols to stay on the arcade tiles longer after you step on the central control unit. And they've added more central control units to allow identifying RK tiles more easily in some dungeons, especially the big ones. This will be helpful. All right. They have fixed the difficulty of named monsters in all invasion dungeons. Number one, they've reduced the frequency of their skill use during the immunity period. 
uh, Feledra, Sigvor, Goroth, um, Gramoth, Vrignid, Agonia, Dreadful Abomination, Dimigor, Tristruine, Grunka. All of these guys have reduced skill frequency, quantity, all that kind of stuff. If you want to read the specific changes, you can. But uh, just know that basically all the bosses are going to be a lot easier during immunity. Take note that they go back to regular difficulty once the immunity phase is over and you have to start beating on them. Yeah. So you're still going to need a semi-decent build to clear this. Okay? Now, here's the most important change. Instead of the rewards being three Haley pieces for gold, two Haley pieces for silver, one Haley piece for bronze, it'll now be five, four, three. So gold ranking will give you five Haley pieces, the silver ranking grants you four, and the bronze ranking grants you three. Okay? So they have uh, increased that. Now, they've also improved the inversion reinforcement effects. This one I'll try and go through as quickly as possible. Um, for biodensity augmentation, previously there was a minus 0.9 defense per stack. Now that's been gone. And you're gaining a whopping 10, practically 10%. Okay, it's 9.5, but it's practically 10% hit point increase up to five stacks. Do you know how much hit points you can get from this? That is practically... Um, 47.5% increase hit points. So, I will say one thing. You definitely don't want to be skipping out on biodensity augmentation. Alright? Even the other ones, like the shield one, it's plus 6.6%. Max MP is plus 4%, but this one still has a negative effect. Skill effect range will still be minus 1%. They said they were going to remove the negative effects, but I guess this one is probably for those um, descendants that don't really make use of effect range. This would probably be why they have this. So, I mean, it'll be, it's up to you genuinely whether you want to use this. But the max augmentation thing could be useful for some farming builds. If you don't mind the slight decrease in range. Just going to be honest about that. Okay. Um, and, of course, the additional max MP is good. When defeating an enemy, uh, you will gain inversion particle augmentation. What this does is that this increases your defense by 7% for up to 30 seconds for 5 stacks. So you can use this to increase your defense overall. Previously, it would reduce max hit points. That is no longer the case, okay? High-density flame particles. Okay. I had to drink my tea before I get into this. Um, previously, it would increase skill cost and also increase fire resistance. No more of that. Now it just straight up increases fire resistance whenever you reload, okay? For the chill particle membrane, when you hit an enemy with a firearm you will gain 9.8% uh, chill resistance up to 2 stacks for 0.5 seconds, okay? For high-density toxic particle membrane, um, you gain the resistance whenever aiming. So this is even better. Uh, it goes up to 2 stacks, okay, pl uh, plus 6.5%. Okay, for the electric membrane, on weak point hit, it gives you 6.5% uh Electric resistance for 3 seconds up to 2 stacks, okay? Inverted defibrillation. If you're hit while at 10% hit points or less and do not die, you gain this particular effect. <coughs> Previously, the cooldown was 25 seconds. Now the cooldown is 15 seconds. When the effect is triggered, it guarantees HP recovery between 20 and 50%. When the effect is triggered... Oh. It trigger it consumes all MP and recovers HP proportionally to the amount of MP consumed. Not quite sure what they try to post here, but the current effect is this. It will consume all your MP and recover HP proportionally to the amount of MP consumed. When the effect is triggered, it guarantees HP recovery of at least 20% to 50%. Alright? The maximum amount you can recover is 50% of your health. I do not uh, suggest this. Alright? Um... If it consumes, like, for example, 50% of your MP, it, I think what they mean is that it will restore 50% of your health, but I wouldn't use this anyway because MP is quite crucial for most characters, and characters that don't have MP probably will not benefit from this. So I wouldn't use this. Selective neurostimulation. <laughs> okay. Previously, it would grant one of the following three effects every 60 seconds. Now it's still the same thing, but all the effects are buffed. All right? So from 8.9 here on the first effect to 13.4 here. All the effects across the board have been increased. Um, this 60, 30, and 10% is probably the chance of this triggering every 60 seconds. So this is a great way of just recovering your MP. Um, I often have this on my characters because it just helps keep them in the fight for longer on, on a personal level. 
Okay. Recovery maneuver. When using a grappling hook, it grants recovery maneuver. Previously, you would take an extra 13% damage. Now, you no longer take the 13% damage. You still recover 2.5% of your max shield every 0.1 seconds while using the grappling hook. And this goes up to 25%. Okay. For RK assimilation, um, previously, when an ally is nearby, you would gain every 0.5 seconds RK assimilation. RK Assimilation would last for 2 seconds and recover hit points by 10% of max HP upon reaching the maximum stacks, which is up to 10 stacks. Okay, um, in this particular case, the cooldown is now 10 seconds and you gain a stack every 0.5 seconds. It'll last for 2 seconds and now you recover instead of 10%, 14% hit points. So, the only thing that changed was the 14%. So, up from 10 to now 14 Hyperdimensional Vision. When landing a firearm critical hit, it has a 27% chance to grant Hyperdimensional Vision. Hyperdimensional Vision removes debuffs for 3 seconds and grants debuff immunity for the duration. Previously at a cooldown of 300 seconds, now it has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So, whenever you land a firearm critical hit, you have a 27% chance of giving yourself Hyperdimensional Vision and it will cleanse any debuffs from you and grant you debuff immunity. So, it might have some uses now. Um, okay. <coughs> void Adrenaline. When HP is 20% or less during intercept battles, you gain Void Adrenaline. All movement speed will be increased by 20% for 3 seconds. Cooldown is 10 seconds. Previously, it would drastically lower your firearm attack and explosive attack. This is no longer, this will no longer happen. Um, the rest of these state that, uh, whenever you're attacking, say, Legion of Immortality, Order of Truth, or whatever, uh, you will have... Okay, so the cooldown was reduced for these. Previously, you would gain a minus 15% uh, incoming damage modifier for 5 seconds with a 25 second cooldown. Now, it's a uh, same effect, but 15 second cooldown. Alright, there's one for Legion of Immortality, Order of Truth, Legion of Darkness. If any of these are giving you trouble, pop one of these and you'll gain some damage immunity when attacking them. Okay, uh, Void Defense Optimization. During Void Intercept Battles, it will grant you minus 2.7% damage modifier, okay, every 150 seconds. So previously it was 1.8, now it's uh, minus 2.7%. So as, as far as I remember, this was a passive. So if they improve the passive as well, that's really good. Okay, force device connection. They increase the defense bonuses. So this is for when you're doing the Legion of Darkness uh, puzzle. If when you're stepping on the RK tile every 0.5 seconds, your defense will now go up by 11.6%, potentially allowing you to survive more. For the electric displacement field, they have severely bumped up the firearm attack to 51%, plus 51%. So this happens whenever energy grenades is at, uh, reaches max stacks. You will gain electrical displacement field for 2 seconds. Cooldown is 20 seconds. And you just gain firearm attack for plus 51%, which is really, really good. Okay, this can be used with some Excava stuff to pull off some shenanigans. Now, RK Pacemaker. When movement speed is 300 or less, it grants you the RK Pacemaker effect. Uh, previously, it would decrease skill cost by 20% and cause you to lose skill effect range and fire rate by 5%. Now, it'll decrease skill cost by 25% whenever your movement speed is 300 or lower. Okay, uh, Unconsciousness. Previously, there was a cooldown on this of 210 seconds, but now if all your skills are on cooldown, you will gain unconsciousness, which uh, will cause the cooldown of your next skill to be minus 8%. It could be useful if your descendant is a skill spammer. So yeah, if you happen to be the type that uses all the skills, then this will change things. But otherwise, don't worry too much about it. Okay, that covers all the inversion reinforcement uh, changes. I will probably have my own guide for this out later based on what perks I choose to pick because yeah going through each of them I think there's going to be some work to do there um the shield increase of overwhelming shield has been increased to 26.8 percent of max HP the HP increase of overwhelming HP has been increased to 19.8 percent of max shield okay they have nerfed pyromaniac for no reason uh in standard and hard mode pyromaniac's defense and HP has been nerfed They've also decreased the HP and the shield of his hummingbirds for both the Executioner and Pyromaniac intercept battles. Not sure why they did that. Um, if anyone asked for this, let us know. 
The kill score for defeating monsters in certain hard infiltration operations has been increased, i.e. Magister Lab, Sterile Land, Unknown Laboratory, and Fortress the Quarantine Zone. So these should be easier to hit the limit for. They have shortened the time required to interact with objects, which is pretty good. Um, bug fixes. Missions will only start after you enter the large-scale outpost barricade. They have fixed an issue where incorrect texts were displayed when there's a nearby makeshift camp located in a different battlefield. They fixed an issue with the voltage charge effect on the Excava, okay, where the max stacks were incorrectly displayed. They fixed an issue where the equipment tier would display text when using filter all as junk, okay. Descendants. They fixed an issue where reference distance is incorrectly displayed after it, and it seemed to be affected by the skill effect range with its stats in the skill info screen, okay. I am not sure what that even means. That that entire line sounds like gook to me, but um, if anyone can figure that line out, please let me know. Literally, line confused my brain so much it just yawned there. Okay, uh, fix the abnormal slipping that happens when Haley uses the Zenith skill after a sub-attack utilizing the grappling hook. Okay, maybe this will stop some people from slipping. Modules. They fixed an issue where summoning a turret with, within Jaber's turret zone with a module affecting skill effect range Equipped, the turret zone would not expand as much as it should due to the range module. Hmm. I see. Okay. Well, hopefully that helps out uh, the Jaber players. Do let us know if that's the case. They fixed an issue where if Jaber has turret engineering module equipped, the turret engineering skill could create duplicate turret zones. Okay, noted. Now, the director's comment. Greetings, descendants. This is the director of the first descendant. Uh, Min Seok Chu. Based on community feedback and data, the dev team has analyzed the success rate of invasion dungeons and adjusted the difficulty of the puzzles and battles against named bosses. Although not yet included in the 1.1.1 the update, they are also working on adding matchmaking to the invasion dungeons. They are committed to improving this feature so that we can enjoy invasion dungeons with our party as soon as possible. Hopefully that's a lesson learned. Please release content for team play. Like, have a solo option, sure, but always release it for team play so we can play with our friends. They have also increased the amount of rewards for the Haley research materials that can be obtained in the invasion dungeons. They improved the drop rate of Haley research materials in the 1.1.0b update, but they wanted to do a bit more because based on community feedback, the farming appears difficult due to the drop rate, which is 35%. Honest to God, I did it in about 20 hours, but I think people are still unhappy with that, so fair enough. Um, they have adjusted the rewards for clearing invasion dungeons so that now you get about 12 to 20 research materials daily. And it depends on the trophy year, and so this will drastically shorten the time required to farm for Haley. They've improved the effectiveness of inversion reinforcement and removed the penalties. Additionally, stacking conditions have been reduced, so it's easier to trigger. The enhancement of inversion reinforcement includes a lot of defensive effects, so they hope it'll help descendants to make their builds even more aggressive. One of the major changes for the season has been that the usage of the hard infiltration operation has seen a significant increase. Uh, as you know, a lot of people go there and farm. The rise in participation stems from increased activity by those farming Haley in the infiltration operations and the improved reward efficiency. The dev team hopes that the infiltration operation will become an important farming location and is preparing to make adjustments to some sections with traps to provide a better gameplay experience. I hope they mean the other kind of traps because if they're adding traps, I tell you, some of these people are going to complain. Alright, so balance out your traps. Don't make them like too difficult or anything because giving in to this community about the puzzles means that you are accepting the fact that many players are casual, so be casual with the traps, yeah? Alright. Finally, in the second update scheduled for October 10th, they are planning to introduce the infiltration operations of the highest difficulty. They will continue to incorporate our feedback to ensure that we have a more engaging and fun battle experience. So, looks like they are listening, alright? Looks like they are having a good time, and they did quite a whopper of a, of a patch today. Um, there, was, there was a lot to cover. I wasn't expecting the video to take... I knew it would be long, but not 19 minutes long. I was expecting like maybe 10 minutes, then I could go and show you guys the dungeons. I'm still going to go and show you guys the dungeons, but stuff is pretty wild. So let me just do a thank you here first. All right. For those of you that uh, don't know these people, these are top supporters for September. All right. Big, big thank you to CG Mayhem, who's our top tipper. Rafi Jana, who's the second on the list. Top super chatter is Sir Tommy Gunn. All right. Top super chatter list includes Ted Wu, Grand Roku, I Done Done It. Top channel membership gifter is George Tishon with five gifted memberships. Top membership gifter in list includes I Done Done It and Yo Slime Forever. So thank you guys so much. And of course, we have to thank our top tier channel members. Okay. 
top channel members are Vegas Moxie, Arcane Silver, CG Mayhem, Death Dawning 982, Haza, Jose, uh, Princess Star, Track Hoodie. All right, these are all our lovely Plus Ultra fans. Thank you guys so much. And for BVS Fang, George Tishon, and Nice at the only fan level, thank you guys so much. Those are the top of the top tier. All right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to register me as your content creator if you haven't already. If you registered me in the past over, say, 1.5 months ago, you might need to extend the support because support only lasts for two months. All right. So please be aware of that. All right. Let's get into the invasion dungeons now. This is what I've been waiting for. So I'm using the same bunny build that I always do for these invasions. Nothing has changed. It's still my bossing build. All right. We're going to go in. We're going to go in. Uh, okay, the first one is Legion of Immortality. This is going to be easy breezy. So let's take a look at the other one. The other one is Legion of Darkness. Let's go see how the puzzle does. Okay, um, previously I did not use Bunny for Legion of Darkness. So if I use Bunny now, you know, it'll show, it'll, uh, it'll be a pretty interesting comparison. So let's check it out. I'm actually quite eager. I'm actually quite eager because previously we had to use Valby on account of the fact that her water would keep the enemies at bay. Now, I don't think that'll be the case. Okay, so four minutes. The enemy has okay, this one is just triangle square X. Triangle square X. Wow, this puzzle is super easy. Okay. X. Okay. This was... This is... I mean, I expected them to make it easy, but this is like, okay. Quick little, uh... Quick little, uh... Toddler puzzle. Because now you just have to follow the symbols. Like, the dots don't matter on this one, so... That's pretty easy. But remember, guys, everything always goes in the square hole. Okay, I mean, the timing still haven't changed, but that's pretty easy. Okay, here's the next one. Oops, slingshot it a bit too much. Okay, the puzzle says circle, square, and triangle. Circle, square, and triangle is there. Okay, easy. Square, triangle, circle. There we go. Okay, in about two minutes, we've done that. Almost ran myself off the map, but that's okay. I'm a legend. I'm a legend like that. All right, I look at the map and I just run myself off. Okay, let's challenge the boss. Okay, so we gotta find the matching symbol. So while I'm standing on this tile, this guy will take additional damage. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. All right, nobody caught that in 4K. All right, we don't we don't do that here. Ooh, still died. Okay, so the bosses still hit hella hard, which I really like. Um, I'm I'm at about sixteen thousand hit points, so that was pretty pretty swanky danky. I like it. I like it. All right, let's do this. Let's do this proper this time. So I can't just face tank blindly. I think skill damage would probably be way better. Because look at how much he's taking from skill-based damage. 
Even if I were to like use normal damage, yeah. So he's left with a little bit. But the shield is so easy to crack, so don't worry too much about that. Um, I do need to find an orange symbol, so we'll go over here. Orange symbol. And we shoot him. And he's almost done. So still doable within the time limit. Um, that's an easy gold right there. Just got five Haley pieces. So for anyone that didn't see it, don't worry. We'll show you the mission reward screen. Okay, so it's five Haley pieces right there. Uh, that really wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we're gonna head to Albion and we're gonna check out the other invasion. And see it all for ourselves. We're gonna see through the dragon's eyes. But that was pretty interesting. That, uh, he hit so hard. So I'm glad that they didn't, uh, reduce the damage. I'm glad they didn't reduce the damage of the bosses. But they, the puzzles themselves seem easier. So you're still gonna need a good gun. You're still probably gonna need an in-game build. But other than that, the puzzles are the puzzles, which were I think the main stumbling block for a lot of people, will be a lot easier now. Okay, unknown laboratory, uh, Legion of Immortality. Let's get in there and do it. Time to go do it. Okay, it's a shame we can't test uh, Order of Truth today, but on the other days, don't you worry, I'll test them. Excuse me? Okay, so now we just need 10 brains each time. Okay, so I've gotten the 10 brains. Put them in. Yep, 10 is 50%, so... <laughs> Excuse me. The timing says 6 minutes and 23, so that's easy enough. Okay, the target barrier is ready to go. That was quite the vertical jump. But okay, this is basically one of the maps, but in reverse, which I like. I guess you could say I'm falling in reverse, huh? I think this is... Unknown Laboratory? Like I said, but in reverse order. Yeah, this is 100% reverse order. Okay. I think traversing backwards is literally what's costing me all the time. Anyway, I thought these things were called inversions, not invasions. Sorry, I thought they were called invasions, not inversions. Huh. Even my dialogue got inverted. Not just the map. Alright, there's one in. Yes, yes, I know. By the time you watch this video, you're like, man, this guy's joke. So cringe. It's okay. I like being cringe. Accept me. Accept my cringiness. Okay. Brains returned. That way. I swear I don't mind these dungeons, but sometimes doing them in reverse does my head in. Okay. The enemy commander is using the base separation rail as a shield. If you overload the computing device, you can create an opening to attack the commander directly. Okay, so the commander is over there. Excuse the yawn. Okay, one set of brains dipped in. Okay, that's done. Let's see uh, what's best for this guy.
Mm, nice and easy. Okay, enemy dead. About 3 minutes 46 seconds. Reward screen, of course. Five Haley pieces. So, Haley reward definitely increased. And, of course, these invasions are now cake. So, I hope that you all will be able to complete these invasions uh, without too much difficulty. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative for you. I hope you guys will enjoy the new update. Alright? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. See you later.